the Venice Stakeholders Association. Um, I can probably cede the floor to Mark Ryavak, who's here on behalf of the Venice Stakeholders Association, and, and John, John, um, who, if you'd like to present the motion, and, and sure. Um, th th this was not specific. Before you go, regularly, mm -hmm. maybe what we should do is um, have you present, and then um, you can have a comment, and then we can talk. Or sure, but I think we ought to hear Mark. And then we ought to hear from the police because obviously without that information, okay. we can make well Okay, yeah, why don't you go first, then we can have LAPD talk about. Okay. Um, working with the police and with the city attorney's office and the council office over the last six months, um, it's, it was clear for a while that there was a great deal of uncertainty, lack of clarity about exactly which, what ordinances uh, related to the public right of way and to parks in anywhere in the city, but in particular here in Venice. And as we met with the city attorney, as we met with John Peters, we met with um, various officers from the department, um, we met, discussed it at some length with uh, Councilman Rosendahl, um, uh, we found that there were a variety of ordinances that applied to the public right of way, sidewalk, parkway, parks, um, that some officials were not aware of, were not enforcing, um, and there was some uncertainty about the effect of some injunctions that had been put in place downtown on whether they apply here, such as the Jones Settlement or the Laval injunction. Um, and as we worked through it, um, it became clear that it would be helpful for everybody to be on the same page about what the law is and what can reasonably be enforced. Um, so, please, um, working with the chair and working with our attorney, John Henning, um, we, and with the city attorney's office, we came up with a list of those um, various ordinances that protect the public's right of way. Um, and um, basically, including things like no camping um, in parks, um, the no sitting, sleeping, or lying, in this case a little circumscribed now by the Jones Settlement, but no sipi sitting, sleeping, or lying from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Um, no obstructing um, public right-of-way, no annoying uh, pedestrians, no storing possessions um, on the public right-of-way. Um, and so to, for everyone to have it clear about what the rules are, um, we drafted the motion. We also have a concern that people that do find themselves violating these ordinances um, get appropriate referral um, to various services and the possibilities of getting housing. Um, and I know working with Captain Peters that his officers already are referring to a group that he calls his uh, clergy council, to various churches that have come forward and do have temporary shelter available for people who ask for it. So we, we want to combine both here the rules and to ask the LAPD to uh, maybe a little more aggressively expand that list of who they refer to beyond just the clergy council, but to other groups um, like PATH, like the Teen Project, like St. Joseph, um, so that you're, you're both saying, this is what the rules are about the public right of way and no camping in Venice. And over here are some referrals where you can start the process to get help and housing. That's the, the, the nature of the, of the motion. Okay. 